Hello friends of Hello Kitty! Today we're going to make a miniature room for Hello Kitty! Which we will be able to play with and have fun with our friends! You will need Cardboard or foam board Paper sheets Some small recycled boxes Foam or a sponge Soft and fuzzy socks Coloured EVA rubber Rounded tip scissors Glue Let's get help from an adult to cut three squares around eight inches wide. The space taken up by two little open hands on the cardboard, one next to the other. Let's stick the coloured sheets of paper onto the cardboard with a glue stick, so we can create the walls of the room. Let's paint the recycled box, which will be the tiny bed. Let's draw the face of our friend Hello Kitty onto a white EVA rubber sheet and then let's put it aside. Now let's make the mattress. Take the foam or the sponge and with the help of a parent, cut it into the same shape of the box. Still with help from an adult, let's use the glue to stick some fabric to the foam or sponge. Wait for the glue to cool down. Cut a rectangle from the sock to make a beautiful blanket. Then we'll use four small plastic beads to make the feet of the bed. Now let's stick our pretty Hello Kitty face onto the back of the box with some glue, like this. Then let's place our soft blanket onto the mattress. To make pillows, we'll follow the same steps we've taken for the mattress, but we'll use another colour fabric. For the nightstand, we're going to use a smaller box, like this one. We'll use beads for the feet. EVA rubber and more beads for the drawers. And then it's ready! Let's decorate our room with a lamp. Take the glue and glue the button onto one end and the cap onto the other end. Now all that's missing are the photos that Hello Kitty took with her friends. With coloured EVA rubber and scissors, cut out rectangles like these with the help of a parent and glue the Hello Kitty photos onto them. Place one frame on the bedside table, one on the wall and our miniature room is ready! Become a friend of Hello Kitty, 
subscribe to the channel and like this video. See you next time! Hello friends of Hello Kitty! How many of you have ever dreamed of producing a real theatre performance? Now, with the help of Hello Kitty and her friends, we can do it together! Today, I will show you how to make a model theatre using only recyclable material. Let's see how to make it! Materials A recyclable cardboard box Safety scissors Glue Sheets of coloured paper Red tissue paper Acrylic paint Paintbrush Wooden sticks Adhesive tape Printable images of Hello Kitty and her friends To build the mini theatre, take an old recyclable cardboard box and create a small slit on one of the four sides using a pair of safety scissors. For this step, don't forget to always ask an adult for help. To recreate the environment of the stage design, cover the interior of the box with some blue paper and use the glue to fix it. It will soon become a beautiful sky. With some green paper, create the mountains. And glue them inside the box. Also create some soft white clouds, as well as a beautiful sun. Like these ones, use a tube of glue to stick them. Lastly, Draw some blades of grass like these ones and some bushes using a sheet of green paper. Then glue them inside the box. To create the curtains of the stage, take the upper side of the box and draw a slightly smaller rectangle. Be sure to leave around 2 centimetres from the edges. Use a pair of safety scissors to cut it out. Use the acrylic paint to colour the entire surface. When it's dry, take some sheets of red tissue paper. and glue them inside the lid of the box creating some pleats like that and here it is our beautiful red curtains maybe something is missing yes the play needs some good actors therefore to create them print the images of Hello Kitty and her friends which you can find in the description below this video use a pair of safety scissors to cut out the shapes Take some wooden sticks like these ones and glue the characters on one of the two edges. Fix them with a piece of adhesive tape. And here we go! Our model theatre is ready! Hello Kitty can't wait to be part of a super fun theatre performance! So don't waste time and get to work immediately! Become a friend of Hello Kitty! Subscribe and like this video! See you next time!
Hello friends of Hello Kitty! In today's video, we will create together this lovely Hello Kitty felt doll. Let's check what we need. Sheets of coloured felt, pencil, safety scissors, sewing kit, liquid glue, cotton, printable pattern, Download and print on a sheet of paper the pattern of the doll that you can find in the description below this video. Use a pair of safety scissors to cut out all the pieces following the outlines. Take a sheet of white felt. And with a pencil, outline the face, the arms and the legs of our friend Hello Kitty. Help yourself by using the pattern. Use a pair of safety scissors to cut out all the components. Place the two shapes of Hello Kitty's face that you cut out earlier, one on top of the other. Then with a needle and some thread, assemble them sewing along the edges. At this stage, don't forget to ask an adult for help. Remember to leave a little slit like this one. You will need it later. Then repeat the same stage to assemble the arms and the legs of Hello Kitty. Like that. Take some cotton and insert it inside, through the slit you've previously left open. Now you can sew the slit with some thread. On a sheet of red felt, draw the outlines of the dress. And cut it out using a pair of safety scissors. You need two identical pieces. To assemble the doll, take one of the two shapes of the dress and then stick the legs on top of it using some liquid glue. Now take the other shape of the dress, place it on top of it and stick it as well. Then glue the arms on the back and the head at the top end of the dress. On a sheet of red felt, draw the outlines of the red bow. Then cut it out. Do the same with the eyes, the nose and the whiskers. Finally, glue all the components on the doll. Our lovely Hello Kitty felt doll is ready! Now you can play together with your friends! The fun is guaranteed! Become a friend of Hello Kitty! Subscribe and like this video! See you next time! Hello friends of Hello Kitty! In today's video, I will show you how to make a fantastic game inspired by our friends Little Twin Stars using only recyclable materials. You can have fun with your friends during the long summer days. Let's check what we need. Stones. Acrylic paint. Paintbrush. Black marker. Sheets of coloured felt. Sewing kit. A button. Some thread. Safety scissors. And glue. To create this super fun board game, you need nine stones like these ones. 
You can find them at the beach during your walks. Divide the stones into two groups. Five stones on one side and four on the other. Colour all the stones using some white acrylic paint and a brush. Then leave them to dry for a few minutes. When the stones are dry, use a pencil to draw the shape of a star like the one from our friend's little twin stars on five of them. Then colour the stars with some acrylic paint. Leave them to dry for a few minutes, then use a black marker to add some details. Now you can decorate the remaining four stones. I've decided to draw the shape of the moon using a pencil. It's very similar to the one from our friends Kiki and Lala. With some acrylic paint, I coloured all the moons, like that. And I drew the outlines with a black marker. Now that the stones have been painted, you can create a small bag to take them always with you. Take some sheets of coloured felt and cut out two squares of about 20 centimetres, like these ones. With a sheet of felt of a different colour, cut four thin stripes with the same length of about 20 centimetres. Use some liquid glue to fix the four thin stripes on one of the two squares, arranging them in this way. Now place the square on top of the second one and use some thread to fix it. Don't forget to ask an adult for help with this. Take a small button like this one and glue it on the felt. Cut some thread and glue it inside the small bag. It will be very useful to create the fastener of the stone's bag. Here it is! Our super fun game is ready! Now you just have to play with your friends and try to win by putting the stones of the same colour in a line or in a column. Become a friend of Hello Kitty! Subscribe and like this video! See you next time! Hello friends of Hello Kitty! In today's video, we will create together with Hello Kitty and her friends an amusing pinwheel like this one, free to rotate with the blow of the wind. Let's check what we need. Printable colouring images of Hello Kitty and her friends. A pencil. Ruler. Paintbrush. Acrylic paint. Safety scissors. Glue. Paper straw. A paperweight or a pin. Ribbon. Printable image of Hello Kitty's bow. To create a Hello Kitty pinwheel, download the image of Hello Kitty and her friends from the description below this video and print it on a sheet of paper. Use a pencil to draw a square of about 20 centimetres, then cut it out with a pair of safety scissors. With the help of the ruler, Draw the diagonal lines of the square by using the pencil. Use the safety scissors to create a small slit along the lines you've previously drawn. Lift the four edges of the paper and fold them inwards. Use some glue to fix each edge at the centre of the square. Use a pencil to create a small hole at the centre of the pinwheel and insert a paperweight or a pin inside. Mm -hmm. 
Download the image of Hello Kitty's bow from the description below this video and print it on a sheet of thin cardboard. Cut it out following the outlines. Then glue it at the centre of the pinwheel. Take a paper straw like this one and colour it by using some acrylic paint and a brush. Create a hole on the upper side. Then block the pinwheel by inserting the paperweight inside the hole. Finally, you just have to cut a piece of coloured ribbon, wind it round the paper straw and create a beautiful bow like this one. And the pinwheel is ready! Hello Kitty can't wait to play in the open air with her friends and admire the pinwheel rotating thanks to the power of the wind. Become a friend of Hello Kitty, subscribe and like this video. See you next time! Hello friends of Hello Kitty! Today we will create together a fantastic mini kitchen only using recyclable materials that you can find at home. Let's check what we need. A recyclable cardboard box. Old CDs. Plastic stoppers. A sheet of transparent acetate. Ruler. Safety scissors. Wooden clothes pegs. Acrylic paint. Black marker, glue, pencil, sheets of coloured Eva foam, printable images of Hello Kitty and her friends, printable pattern. To create the base structure of the mini kitchen, you need a recyclable cardboard box, like this one. With a ruler and a pencil, draw a rectangle on the front side of the box. Then use a pair of safety scissors to cut the front side and the two lateral sides. The lower side must not be cut as you will need it to create the oven door of your kitchen. Don't forget to ask an adult for help with this. Download the description below this video the pattern and print it on a sheet of paper. Cut it out with a pair of safety scissors and draw the outlines on a sheet of cardboard. Use a pair of scissors or a cutter to cut out the shape. When doing this, don't forget to ask an adult for help. Help yourself by using the pattern and draw the outlines of the components on a sheet of red Eva foam. Then use a pair of scissors to cut them out. Assemble the bow and glue it on the box. Use some liquid glue to fix the shape on the back of the box. Now you can colour the entire surface using some acrylic paint and a brush. I've decided to paint the oven with a different colour from the rest of the box.
Inside the rectangle that you cut earlier, draw a second smaller rectangle and cut it out with a pair of scissors. Take a sheet of transparent acetate and glue it inside the box to create the window pane of the oven. Using some sheets of coloured Eva foam, cut some thin stripes of the same length as the box. Stick one stripe on top of the other and place them on the front side of the box to create the handle of the oven. To create the kitchen buttons, take some plastic stoppers like these ones. Glue them on the box one next to the other. Then you can use a black marker to add some details. Take some wooden clothes pegs like these ones and divide them in half. Colour them with some black acrylic paint and a brush. Before you proceed, leave it to dry for a few minutes. To create the kitchen stoves, you need some old CDs like these ones. Take some glue and the clothes pegs you previously painted and stick them on each CD, like that. Two vertically and two horizontally. Repeat the same stage for the rest of the CDs. Now you can glue the stoves on the upper side of the box, placing them one next to the other, like that. To conclude, download the images of Hello Kitty and her friends that you can find in the description below this video and cut them out with a pair of safety scissors. Use a tube of glue to fix them on the kitchen surface and make it even more personalised and colourful. And here it is! Our kitchen is ready! Now you just have to wear a kitchen apron and surprise your friends with a delicious meal! Become a friend of Hello Kitty, subscribe and like this video. See you next time! Hello friends of Hello Kitty! In this video we will create lovely paper dolls inspired by our friend My Melody. Let your creativity run wild and organise amazing adventures with her! Let's check what we need! Printable pattern of the paper dolls Printable colouring pattern of My Melody's room A thin sheet of cardboard Sheets of coloured paper Black marker Coloured markers Adhesive glitter Safety scissors Tube of glue Take a sheet of white thin cardboard and fold it in half, like that. Cut out a rectangle from a sheet of coloured paper with a pair of safety scissors. And then stick it on the upper side of the thin cardboard to create My Melody's room. Using a sheet of paper of a different colour, do the same thing to create the floor. From the description below this video, download the printable pattern containing all the components that you will put inside the room and print it on a sheet of white thin cardboard. Use the coloured markers to paint the components. 
I've chosen the red and grey markers for the mirror. In the same way, colour the picture to hang. The armchair. The carpet. And finally the wardrobe. The latter will be very useful to our friend to keep all her dresses and accessories. Cut two strips of thin cardboard using a pair of safety scissors. You will need them to create the wardrobe doors. Use a black marker to add some details to the wardrobe doors. Then colour the rest of the drawing with coloured markers. Fold one side of the thin cardboard strips and put some glue on them. Stick them on the wardrobe to create the doors. Use two adhesive glitters to create the handles. Here it is! My Melody's room is ready! Now you just have to cut out the paper dolls. Print on a sheet of thin cardboard the images that you can find in the description below this video. Then use a pair of safety scissors to cut out all the components following the outlines. After that, you can start having fun creating endless and wonderful adventures together with our friend My Melody. You can choose which dress and accessory she should wear to always be fashionable. Become a friend of Hello Kitty, subscribe and like this video. See you next time! Hello Hello Kitty's friends! In today's video, I will show you how to create some coloured slime inspired by Hello Kitty and her friends, using material that you can find at home. If you're looking for something to do in these long afternoons, you're in the right place! Let's check what we need. White liquid glue Food colouring Thickener Glass containers Printable pattern Spoon Let's start by creating the first slime inspired by Hello Kitty. You have to create a white base, so take a glass of white liquid glue and pour it inside a bowl. In this case, you don't need any food colouring. To turn the glue into slime, you need a magic ingredient, that is the thickener. You can use a pinch of bicarbonate and some drops of contact lens solution or alternatively some washing liquid. Pour some drops inside it and mix it up with a spoon until you get a sticky mixture. If necessary, you can add some more drops of thickener. When the slime will no longer stick to the rim of the bowl, you can work the mixture manually. Blend it until you get a homogeneous mixture. To make it even softer, you can add some spoonfuls of corn flour. Then you can continue to blend it. And here it is! The base for our slime is ready! Now you can move on to the decoration of the glass container. Download and print on a sheet of paper the pattern that you can find in the description below this video. Then use a pair of safety scissors to cut out all the components. 
Use the glue to fix the eyes in the middle of the container. Then the nose, the whiskers, And lastly, Hello Kitty's bow at the top right. Now you just have to put inside the slime you've just created. And the game is done! Isn't it lovely? Let's move on to our second slime inspired by our friend My Melody. Repeat the same procedure you've previously followed to create the base for the slime. Unlike the first slime, before adding the thickener, pour some pink food colouring or some pink acrylic paint and mix it with a spoon until you get a homogeneous colour. Now you can add the thickener and blend the glue until it becomes homogeneous and fluffy. Let's decorate the second glass container as well. Download and print on a sheet of paper the pattern of My Melody's face. Then use a pair of safety scissors to cut out the oval following the outlines. Use some glue to fix the face in the middle of the container. And here it is! Now you just have to play together with your friends. I'm sure they'll be surprised by our coloured slimes inspired by Hello Kitty and My Melody. Become a friend of Hello Kitty, subscribe and like this video. See you next time! Hello Hello Kitty's friends! Are your friends fans of Hello Kitty's world? If this is the case, this magic cube entirely made of paper is the perfect gift for them! Let's check what we need! A sheet of thin cardboard Adhesive tape Glue A pair of safety scissors Printable pattern Printable images of Hello Kitty and her friends To create our magic cube, you need the printable pattern that you can find in the description below this video. Download it and print it on a sheet of paper and use a pair of safety scissors to cut out all the components following the outlines. You need eight pieces. So repeat the previous stage. With these components, you will assemble and create eight small paper cubes. Fold the paper along the dashed lines of the pattern, helping yourself with the ruler. Put some glue on the side flaps, as specified by the pattern. And fold all the parts to create a cube. Like that. For a higher resistance, fix everything with some transparent adhesive tape. Repeat the same procedure to assemble the remaining seven cubes. Now you're ready to carry on with your endless paper cube. Arrange the eight cubes one next to the other, like that. Take a piece of adhesive tape and fix the two side cubes on the left. Do the same with the ones on the right. Rotate the four cubes that you've just fixed and block the four pairs of cubes with some adhesive tape. Like that. Rotate the cubes once again and add some adhesive tape. Now you just have to decorate this endless cube that is quite bare at the moment.
Download and print on a sheet of paper the images that you can find in the description below this video and use a pair of safety scissors to cut out all the squares following the thicker outlines. Use some glue to stick the images of Hello Kitty and her friends on the faces of the endless cube and exert some pressure with the hands to stick them properly. And here it is! Our endless cube is ready! Now you just have to rotate the faces of the cube! And here comes the magic! I'm sure your friends will be surprised! Become a friend of Hello Kitty! Subscribe and like this video! See you next time!